So there's a ritual that happens on Rosh Hashanah. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that there are millions of people on the planet right now who are stepping into Rosh Hashanah and stepping into the days of awe, and it is a time of deep introspection. For the Jewish faith, the days of awe are the 10 of the holiest days of the year. Now, that energetic is available to all of us. What is being created by those people who are sitting in prayer and doing the work within the structure and understanding of their faith tradition is creating an opening for us to be able to access for ourselves. We get to ride that wave that is being created right now. So there is a ritual that happens today um, the, on the day of Rosh Hashanah. Right? which is called Tashlich. And what that is, is where you go to a moving body of water. Jews love rituals. You go to a moving body of water, and you take, typically we use breadcrumbs or pieces of bread, and you sit there and you throw into the water whatever it is that you don't want to carry anymore. It's kind of their version of the burning bowl. All right? And so I want to offer that practice to this community as when you find yourself beating yourself up, when you find yourself prosecuting yourself for the things that you're noticing about what you, how you automatically have been moving through the world, how, you, how the autopilot of your life is becoming obvious and perhaps it's hard to see the autopilot of your life. I want you to use that image of taking the shame or the guilt or the I'm not good enough, whatever that story is that gets triggered, and sending it out into the moving waters of consciousness and saying, I can start anew. That is what we believe in unity, that we can always start anew. But we can't do that if we're not willing to admit that perhaps we were wrong. We can only start anew if we actually pay attention 